Peace and love, everybody. My name is Yourself, and I would like to welcome you to another video. Now, for those of you who have been subscribed to my channel for a while, it's not that many of you, <laughs> but for those of you who have been subscribed to my channel, I know it's been a long time since I last posted a video. Forgive me for that. <laughs> the reason why is because the truth is, I've just been very, very, very inconsistent with uploading videos on YouTube. I think the last one I uploaded was like, I don't even remember. I think it was like four months ago, five months ago, something like that. And ironically, that's what this video is all about. It's about how inconsistency will kill any momentum that we have in pursuit of trying to obtain the goals that we have in our minds. Because I will admit, I've been very inconsistent. You could pretty much say my entire life. I've had moments where I would go for something and I would be motivated and inspired and, you know, have it in my mind that I'm going to make this happen no matter what. Whether it was my music, uh, podcast, uh, just creating content for social media, creating content for YouTube. Uh, writing a book. I mean, just all these different ideas that I've always had in mind. But because of my inconsistency, my lack of belief in myself that I can actually do these things, it's caused me a lot of time. A lot of time that I've wasted overthinking, which leads to absolutely nothing. Overthinking, procrastinating, trying to do too much, or sometimes a lot of times do too little and not doing, you know, not do enough to actually manifest what I'm trying to manifest into my life, which is not fame, but more about the freedom of just being able to wake up knowing that I'm financially, uh, financially free. Uh, my family's financially free. We can create, do what we want to do anytime we want, not depending on some government not depending on a nine to five job, but we can actually depend on ourselves to make it happen. But because of my inconsistency, <laughs> it's led me to be exactly where I'm at, right here at the park, <laughs> where I was, let's say six months ago, still unemployed, still broke, <laughs> financially broke. And, um, and it's just, that's just what it is now. For those of you who may not know, I used to work at Amazon, worked there for about two and a half years, and I had to leave Amazon in January of this year. My last day was actually January 6, 2020. If I'm sweating out here, it's because I'm in Houston, so it's very hot. So, <laughs> you know, it's Houston, Texas. Anyone who lives in Texas knows summertime is hot, man, but I'm out here. But anyway, my last day was January 6, 2020 had to leave because I was involved in two car accidents in the span of a month. I'm talking two car accidents. Got into a car crash on December 9th of last year, totaled my car, and I really missed my Toyota Corolla, man. <laughs> and then I got into another car crash, which wasn't even my fault. Like literally wasn't my fault. I got hit on a driver's side by a driver going the wrong way on a one way <laughs> when I got off early from work. And since then, you know, I've been unemployed, you know, cause you know, COVID-19, that's made it difficult to really find a job, things of that nature. Uh, plus, uh, I have an open court case right now because of that car crash from last year. It's a misdemeanor charge. It's, you know, uh, interfering with public police work or something like that because I was knocked unconscious. And for about, I don't even know how long I was unconscious but i know for a fact i don't remember from the time i crashed my car from the time to the time that i woke up in the hospital and thank god that i made it out with no scars no type of any uh damage or anything like that but i think that you know that's made it difficult as well because my court case keeps getting pushed back i was supposed to have court in may and got pushed back to july and i got pushed back again to september and it's like, Lord have mercy, COVID-19 has made it difficult to do anything, but that's no excuse not to do anything. And um, 
even with those things that have happened, and even though it's been very difficult, that's still no excuse for my inconsistency, my procrastination, uh, making excuses as to why I can't do something, or I don't have enough money, I don't have enough this, I need a job first, no, all of these different things. And the other day I was thinking, I'm like, man, if anything, the universe has given me exactly what I wanted. Because when I was at Amazon, and even though I was grateful for that job, I couldn't stand that job. <laughs> but I used to always say, man, I just can't wait to be free so I can just do what I want to do, which is just create content, create music, just be free. That's all I want to do. That's, that's what I value over anything, just freedom. You know, money brings freedom. And um, just having the, the ability to go where I want to go, do what I want to do, meet people all across the world, uh, experience new things without being so tied and hindered by a job or anything of that nature. So I used to always say that. I used to always say, man, if I just had enough time <laughs> to do what I got to do, I'll make it happen. The universe gave me that in the form of two car crashes. And it took me, I think it was like the other day I was thinking, I'm like, if anything, the universe gave me exactly what I wanted. I'm up here saying how I want free time and time to create time to manifest my goals, my dreams. I have all the time in the world and I'm not doing anything with it except sitting at home, watching TV, watching Netflix, playing Call of Duty <laughs> and all of these different things while my bank account hasn't moved at all <laughs> outside of a few uh payments that i've gotten here and there nothing major it's like what am i doing i have everything that i want right now but because of inconsistency because of my lack of ambition i'll go ahead and say it i haven't elevated my position and that's why i want to tell anyone who's watching this man take it from me a master procrastinator, <laughs> a master at overthinking. If you got something you need to do, do it right now. Don't don't uh, later yourself to death. What I mean by that is don't say I'm going to do something later because take it from me. Every time you say you're going to do something later, all you're doing is delaying your greatness. And on top of that, it becomes a habit. It becomes habitual. How many times, think about it, let me ask you a question. How many times have you honestly said, man, I get to it later? Or you know what, I'm gonna get to it tomorrow. Whatever that is, it can be starting a podcast, it could be uh, working on your book, uh, wh whatever it is, whatever you're working on to uh, elevate yourself and grow in this society. And how many times have you said, man, you know what, I'm gonna get to it later? Or oh, I'm going to get to it tomorrow. Man, that kills momentum every single time. It's like you're taking a whip and literally whipping yourself, honestly, and destroying your own momentum and destroying, oh, my bad, <laughs> and destroying your own willpower, which is why a lot of us have not elevated and manifested our lives, the lives that we want. It's not because we're not capable of doing it. It's because we're just not willing to do everything necessary to become legendary. And I will put myself out there and say, I've done exactly that, <laughs> you know. And it took me a long time to really realize that, like, man, I've, I have everything I want. Plus, I've been in this position before. There have been a few times over the past couple of years where I was out of a job. Uh, one time I was going to go to truck driving school. I quit my job. I left. I was working at HEB. That's a grocery store for those who may not know. And I'm talking the day right before. This was like 2000, what was it, 16? The day before <laughs> I was going to go to this truck driving school thinking I'm about to hit the road and make a bunch of money and travel to all these different cities and states. My car broke down. The Toyota Corolla that I got into a car crash. Uh, last year and I'm like man it was it was amazing because my car had never experienced any problems before up until that day so I took it as a sign well I guess maybe it just wasn't meant for me 
and I've had situations where I've been unemployed. Before I worked at Amazon, I was unemployed for like three months. Um, so I've always had these breaks and these periods of times where I was unemployed, didn't have any money. And I feel like the universe is trying to tell me you need to do for self. And ironically, that's what my motto is, do for self. My name being yourself. So it's like, if anything, I have everything I need to succeed right now. Yeah, I may not have a lot of money. Yeah, I may not have a lot of resources, but the greatest resource that I have is myself. The greatest resource that you have is yourself. Being that you have the potential to make anything happen. We all do. Think about it. People are becoming successful every single day. And I'm not even talking about famous people. Just go on Instagram, go on YouTube, go on uh, just go anywhere. There are people who are becoming successful in spite of this quarantine, in spite of this COVID-19, in spite of the economy and just everything that's happening, the politics. I'm not going to get into all that right now. And people are still making things happen. So honestly, what's stopping you? That's a question I had to ask myself. And even even just a few hours ago, I had to ask myself, what's really stopping me from making this happen? I mean, what's really preventing me? I can't say it's this. I can't say, oh, it's the government. Oh, it's uh, I don't have a job and all these. I'm like, but OK, but there are people out there doing worse than me and still doing better than me. <laughs> I like, think about that. So I just want to tell people, man, I'm not going to make this video where well, it's already 11 minutes. So <laughs> I'm not going to make it too, too long. But I just want to say, man, if you have something you need to do, do it, man. Like today. Don't wait till tomorrow. Like I said, don't later yourself to death. Don't tomorrow yourself to death, putting things off to the next day. Because as we've seen so many times, especially with someone like Breonna Taylor, you might not get a chance to wake up in the morning. So take advantage of the time that you have. Time, I'm starting to learn. It took me a long time to learn this, and I'm still learning that time is the greatest asset that we have, man. Time is the greatest asset that we have. It's not it's not a job. It's not money. It's time. And that's why they say time is money because it is. Time is everything. It's the most valuable thing we have, yet we take advantage of it. We don't realize how much time we really have to really get things done or at least get things started. So I just want to tell you, man, you got something in your mind. Start on it today. Right now. I'm talking close this video out <laughs> and start on it right now. And, you know, make something happen for yourself. I need to do that as well. I can't be just sitting up here giving you advice if I'm not doing it for myself as well. So I just wanted to tell y'all, man, I appreciate everyone who stuck around. Because like I said, I know it's been a while since I posted videos. I'm going to be more consistent in my posting. I have no choice because I can't get a job right now. So <laughs> this is like the only thing I can really do right now. But if that's that's what it is. That's what it is. And I accept that. And I'm going to do the best I can with it. And um, like I said, I wish everyone out there peace and prosperity. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. If you have a recommendation, something you want me to talk about, um, let me know. Also, I love to read books. So if you have a book you want me to read, I think I'm going to start doing book reviews as well. Start doing like chapter by chapter, like, you know, things that really spoke to me. And start doing like maybe reviews on them, you know, so other people can kind of see. Uh, it's a lot of education out there that you know that's available to us that we can use to make ourselves useful in this society so like i said man i appreciate everyone like comment subscribe share with your friends your family i appreciate everyone god bless peace and love and always remember if you have no one to talk to talk to yourself peace